At a time when the body should be settling into post-meal relaxation, some individuals find themselves struggling to breathe. Since you're watching this video, you may be wondering, why do I experience shortness of breath after eating? While many factors, ranging from mild to severe, can contribute to this sensation, it's essential to understand the underlying causes and implications, which is what we're going to discuss in this quick video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Experiencing shortness of breath after eating can result from several factors, including overeating, food allergies, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. More serious conditions like heart or lung disease can also manifest this unwanted sensation. Therefore, it's essential to identify the cause and consult a medical professional if symptoms persist or are recurrent. However, some of the most common causes of shortness of breath after eating include First is overeating. Consuming large meals can put pressure on the diaphragm, restricting lung expansion and causing shortness of breath. As previously mentioned, gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, for short. Acid reflux can lead to shortness of breath when stomach acid flows back into the esophagus, irritating its lining. Another potential cause is food allergies. An allergic reaction to specific foods can cause an array of symptoms, including difficulty breathing. This is particularly true in the case of anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction. Next up is hiatal hernia, which occurs when part of the stomach pushes up into the diaphragm, and this can lead to breathing problems after eating. Asthma is another potential cause, as some individuals have asthma that is triggered by certain foods or by eating in general. Heart problems and conditions such as congestive heart failure can also result in shortness of breath after consuming a meal. COPD is another potential cause because, in people with this condition, the airways are blocked or damaged, making it hard to get enough oxygen. Obesity is a potential cause because carrying excess weight, especially around the midsection, can put pressure on the diaphragm and lungs, leading to breathing difficulties after meals. Furthermore, anxiety or panic attacks can sometimes be triggered by meals and manifest as shortness of breath. And last but not least, Consuming foods high in carbohydrates can increase the production of carbon dioxide, which in turn might cause shortness of breath in some people. But as I said before, it is important to pinpoint the exact cause of shortness of breath after eating because the remedies and treatments vary considerably based on the underlying reason. Also, if someone consistently experiences this symptom, consulting a healthcare professional is crucial to ensure an accurate diagnosis and appropriate care. Now, let's talk about the prevention strategies, which involve addressing the potential causes. Some strategies to potentially prevent shortness of breath after eating include eating moderate portion sizes. In other words, avoid overeating. Consuming smaller, more frequent meals can prevent the diaphragm from being compressed by a full stomach. Manage acid reflux. If acid reflux is the cause, consider elevating the head of your bed, avoiding spicy, acidic, and fatty foods, not lying down immediately after eating, and using over-the-counter or prescribed antacids or medications. Identify and avoid food allergens. If a particular food causes an allergic reaction, eliminating it from your diet is crucial. Seek advice from an allergist if you suspect a food allergy. Maintain a healthy weight. Obesity can put pressure on the diaphragm. Therefore, try to engage in regular exercise and adopt a balanced diet. Avoid triggers for asthma and COPD. If you have a respiratory condition, be aware of your triggers. This might include certain foods or eating environments. Manage anxiety. Techniques like deep breathing, meditation, and cognitive behavioral therapy can help if anxiety is causing breathlessness. Limit carbonated drinks. Carbonated beverages can introduce excess gas into the digestive system, leading to bloating and pressure on the diaphragm. Limit high carbohydrate meals. If large amounts of carbohydrates cause your symptoms, Consider reducing your intake and balancing meals with protein and healthy fats. Stay upright after eating. 
Give gravity a chance to help your food settle by staying upright for at least 30 minutes to an hour after eating a meal. Wear loose clothing. Tight clothing, especially around the waist, can compress the stomach, leading to symptoms. Avoid smoking. Smoking can worsen breathing problems and is detrimental to your overall lung health. Limit alcohol intake. Alcohol can relax the lower esophageal sphincter, increasing the risk of acid reflux. And again, if you have already tried multiple strategies and still experience shortness of breath after eating, it's probably best to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.